just such a bummed day, you know, as it is one of those days, like, I think I'm getting a little bit, like, of a cold, and, uh, but I do want to come on here, I'm going to get a karmic reading for you guys, I haven't done one of these in a while, so if you are in a current separation, or, like, some kind of interference with your divine counterpart, and there is a third party karmic partner that is involved, uh, just the energy of one it doesn't necessarily mean that they are together, but there is some kind of energy. We're going to see how they feel about the karmic partner first, how they could feel about you, Divine Feminine, okay, and how the karmic partners feel and stuff like that, all right? So let's see. How's the karmic partner, uh, or how is the Divine Masculine feeling right now towards the karmic partner? Let's get one of these cards. All right, we have Spirit of Initiation, okay, and we have, how is he feeling towards the Divine Feminine at this moment, how is the Divine Masculine feeling, oh yeah, he's having some kind of spiritual awakening, okay, he knows that he is going to be initiating, um, he's going through some kind of initiation with his spirit guides, okay his spirit guides are definitely helping guide him it has something to do with the karmic partner he is being guided to make some kind of life choice it's it's gonna affect everything okay he is definitely having a huge spiritual awakening right now when it comes to this divine feminine energy with the moon at the bottom of the deck wow let's go get one of these cards as well how the divine masculine could be feeling or yeah let's see Give me some energy between the Divine Masculine and the Karmic Partner. The Fool. Yep. They just, they have to move on. It's time for them to start over. Because look, there's been a lot of stress. There has been a lot of stress. Um, It's been a long time. Maybe seven years. That they have been with this Karmic Partner. Let's see. Let's tell you about the Divine Feminine Energy. And the Divine Masculine Energy. Can you tell me more about this divine feminine, divine masculine energy? Yeah, look, there could have been some kind of silence that they just came out of, okay? The divine masculine and the divine feminine have been suppressing a lot of things. They've been keeping a lot of things hidden. They've been hiding them. They've been really um not wanting to face certain things, okay? There's been a lot of dark energy that has seemed to have a control over them. And this masculine is just really, I think, really, really taking a lot of, um, like I said, he's having this huge spiritual awakening and he's finally coming up. He's going to stop suppressing whatever this is that he has been not talking about. There was something he was not able to talk about, some kind of trauma, just how he feels in general, how he how he shows his emotions to certain situations. Okay. Wow. Let's get a couple of cards here. Let's see how the karmic is feeling towards the divine masculine. All right, let's see how the karmic thinks the masculine feels. How does this karmic perceive how the masculine is feeling? See how she perceives it. We have the Six of Cups in reverse, holding on to something that is no longer there. Okay, they could have been together for uh, since they were younger, since they were teenagers. It could have been very nostalgic, something that happened when they were younger. And when it's in the reverse, it's like you're really dwelling in the past. She knows with the Three of Pentacles in reverse that this third party situation. It's just like, yeah, it's like burdens. The Ten of Wands in reverse. You have to release the burdens. Look, they could have been married, okay? This woman is literally chilling in her wedding dress, and it is on fire. It's on fire. You know what I'm saying? You have to let go. You have to stop dwelling in the past. You have to stop dwelling in the past, or you're going to literally burn with the dress. Okay? It is time to move on. You tried. This third party situation is definitely coming to an end. There's an initiation process for a new beginning. For their energy, okay? All right, so tell me how the divine 
feminine is feeling towards the divine masculine how's the divine feminine feeling right now ace of wands ace of wands she's really feeling passionate about this masculine okay she wants to experience whatever this was that they first had they they had a very passionate beginning i mean a very a lot of sexual energy here and she wants that back she wants that back for sure okay we have the angel de la nuit in reverse in the hermit this feminine is really taking a lot of time out by herself okay she's learning to be by herself okay learning to be by herself during this separation from this masculine really going within really going within and thinking about how she can get rid of all this dark energy and protect her masculine she's really wanting to protect her masculine right now she is very protective over this masculine okay how is this masculine feeling towards the karmic right now how is he feeling with the moon in reverse yeah He's feeling like there's a lot of things that he wasn't able... There's going to be secrets that are going to be coming out. Secrets that are going to be coming out. Uh, something that he didn't want to... Uh, yeah, the high places in reverse. Some kind of illusion, you know? His masculine... He was asleep. Like I said, he's awakening, though, to this feminine energy, okay? This is my bad marriage card, feeling trapped in their mind, okay? Like I said, his masculine has definitely been feeling just chained to something. Uh, like something really has a hold on him and will not let him go. And he is going to be releasing it. Like I say, he's feeling very trapped. In this karmic partner's energy. How is he feeling towards the divine feminine? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yep. He feels like they never really had a chance. Like that it was like a false start. He wants a new start. There is definitely something that has not been completed. There is some unfinished business and he knows it. Two of Wands. Yeah. She's missing her masculine. She's really holding on, though, um, to him. She's not letting go. This Divine Feminine is very... She's not ready. She said, I'm not... There's unfinished business here. There is something that needs to... She's not letting go. It's like she was really close to giving up, and she has decided to not give up yet how is the masculine what is he even telling the karmic partner or what does the masculine communicate to the karmic partner how does the masculine what does he tell this karmic partner mm -hmm. neptune yeah he's like he's telling her like i am just having like a huge spiritual awakening i am a really enlightened to something it's like this aha moment that breakthrough, that epiphany, that he has literally been stuck in some kind of disillusionment. It's like he didn't even realize it. Yeah, the mask is coming off, mask in reverse. This masculine is tired of concealing, is tired of hiding behind his ego. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and there could have even been some hidden motives, motives that he was not letting know about. Okay, but Neptune is definitely the revealer of secrets. Whatever has been hidden beneath the surface, Neptune is going to be revealing something to this masculine, to this karmic partner. Okay, so what about the feminine and the divine feminine and the divine masculine? Oh, double intervention, double rainbow, divine intervention. Okay, just a lot of ascension, a lot of duality. Okay, the universe is going to step in and help. Okay, there could have been something that was very stagnant. Okay, and they are, all right? They are going to plan some kind of divine intervention. It could be happening in some kind of public venue. You could be meeting up with this masculine outdoors somewhere. 
Yeah. I feel like wine, it gets better over time, right? Age as well, right? It's a family legacy, okay? This, y'all's relationship develops over time, okay? It, it ages with time. It gets better as time goes on. Oh my goodness, what is this? Alright, look. Yeah, look, alchemy. Alchemy. It's like really manifesting, coming together. Y'all are both realizing that um there was some kind of miscommunication, okay? Not wanting to there was something that was very like secretive. Okay, I feel like I feel like you could have thought that this person was like a catalyst, but you're realizing that this person is, uh, you know, you, this is who you want to stay faithful to. You want to stay faithful to this connection. You know, y'all are really putting y'all's energies together. And whatever this miscommunication was, like the universe is helping y'all right now. Tell me more about the karmic energy and the masculine. Oops. Like, this all over again. But it might. Tell me about the karmic energy and the masculine. The moon and yeah. Collective consciousness, traditional programming. This masculine could have definitely been staying in a marriage or some kind of relationship. They could have kids together. Okay. Just traditional programming. Thinking that he needed to be together because that was the right thing to do. But look, fate and karma, forces of the universe are definitely going to be turning the wheel for this masculine and this karmic. Okay. Yep. See what else? All right, tell me more about this karmic and the masculine. Tell me more about it. Yeah, the world in reverse. No energy. There has been no energy in this, okay? But there is some unfinished business here too, okay? Whatever this wishes and look, problems are going to remain unresolved. Difficulty. This is basically about your wishes and dreams. Like whatever this, this karma could have been hoping that they could make it work and maybe get back together. But it's not going to happen. The universe is not going to let it happen, okay? Let's see. Clarify more about these... Uh, What's going to be coming revealed? What is going to be revealed? Yeah, the five of pentacles. All aspects of your life are open to physical disaster right now. Emotional, worry, stress, insecurity. Okay, you're at the bottom right now. You know, this karmic is really feeling left out in the cold. She is unable, she's still childlike, unable to move on. It's like, this masculine is ready to move on, but this karmic is not. She's not ready. It says, don't submit to other... Worry and fear will block you. Okay? You don't recognize the danger you're in. You are close to ruin with crazy decisions, reckless actions, and foolish choices. Your ideas are just not sound, and they're going to lead to catastrophe. Okay, tell me about the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine Energy, this unfinished business. What is it? The Hanged Man. Okay. Yep. Do the opposite of what your instincts have been telling you to do. Okay, look, you're going to be seeing things in a new perspective. It's like all of a sudden, okay, the Ace of Swords in reverse. Because somebody was not seeing the truth about something. They just were not able to think clearly. There was something that was not having them be able to think clearly. 
some kind of substance, something that's like they're just seeing things very different all of a sudden. Very different. Tell me about this divine uh, intervention spirit between them. Yes, temperance. And like I said, alchemy. It landed right on it. Yep. Y'all are going to start working. Well, Y'all are going to start being a team. Y'all have been very guarded. Y'all have been in battle. Y'all have been working against each other. Y'all are going to realize that y'all are a team and that y'all are so powerful together. Okay? Yep. Like I said, y'all are literally in attack mode with the nine of uh, wands in reverse. You are getting out of that. You are going to finally actually be just being together and, and feeling that peace of being and harmony and not just like attacking each other all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Tell me about the spiritual awakening between the masculine and the feminine. Yeah, the lovers. This is, this is your divine counterpart. Physical beauty, a beautiful sound, a beginning of romance. Attraction. Yeah, y'all are definitely going to be getting that fan going again. Y'all are going to be rekindling. Okay, rekindling, getting the flames. Something got the flames going again. All right. All right, but there is, there's something that like, you know, it's like a lot. So it's not like with the two physicals in reverse is about really like uh, just feeling like you got a lot going on. Okay. And I feel like they could have been like um, one of them or both of them could have been really stuck in some kind of depression. You know, what were, what were they suppressing? The two of cups in reverse. Okay. Some kind of separation, some kind of misunderstanding. Look, somebody could have been unfaithful. It's like they had to separate. They knew that like their love was like the devil was taking away their love. And they are realizing now that they are so powerful together. Okay. The masculine is going to be coming in. Oh, the devil. Yeah, the devil in reverse. Okay. Okay. The devil is not going to take. This is a very powerful connection between this masculine and feminine. And the devil has been really trying hard. But the universe is stepping in. Okay. What was this communication about? What was this miscommunication about, you know, between the feminine and the masculine? The five of swords in reverse. Look, there could have just been a really hard time. Like, maybe y'all stopped, like, really being intimate. Like, y'all had, like, sex. Maybe it just felt more like sex and not, like, where's that intimacy, right? But look, y'all had some kind of reconciliation recently and uh, maybe rekindled something. Uh, really uh, saw some things. Something came to light. There was a lot of, y'all could have, yeah, there's some sexual energy here. There's a lot of sexual energy here. But, well, look. Y'all are going to have to be working on boundaries and respect with each other, okay? I feel like somebody was like, it's like so stagnant, all right? No, no change whatsoever. It was stuck, all right? You know, there was a lot of dishonesty. There was a lot of, uh, you know, games that were played. And I feel like y'all are. Y'all are going to get, like, a new start. Y'all are. Y'all are going to get a new start. And I feel like, let's see. Let's get a couple tea leaf cards for the masculine and the feminine. Tell me more about the situation. Diamond. You're going to be receiving a gift. Somebody's going to be receiving a gift. Okay. All right. It could have been dealing with a man, obviously. It could be this masculine. Yeah, slowly but surely, things are going to be getting better for you. Okay. Y'all could have been very frustrated. Okay. Increase your efforts, you know. Didn't want to just frustrate it. All right. But look. 
Somebody's got to get. Somebody got up. They left. All right. And it's like what they had to do. It was what this masculine thought he had to do. Okay. August, though. Somebody said you're receiving a gift. There's going to be some kind of reconciliation in August, possibly. Okay. I'm telling you, you definitely separated it. Let's see. Let's get some energy between the uh, masculine and the karmic partner. Masculine karmic partner. Yeah, the fly. That's my karmic energy. You know how flies are. <laughs> They're just everywhere, okay? But I feel like, um, you know, this karmic could actually be getting there's depressed or sick or there's some kind of uh, illness, okay? But I feel like, uh, Somebody is going to be taken care of, you know. Someone's going to take care of her in this difficult time. You know, bring her flowers if she is sick, okay. But there's some kind of hidden secrets that are going to harm this masculine and this karmic. Tell me where are these hidden secrets. Trouble and accusations. So somebody could have gotten in trouble with the law, okay. Somebody could be going to court in July, possibly, okay, getting together with friends, I'm not sure, uh, going to court for something, hmm, there's going to be some kind of trouble or accusations, sorry, I'm trying to get these cards, I want to get one for my rebel deck. I want to get one for the karmic energy and the masculine. It's time to let go. Move the fuck on, masculine, karmic. Okay? Rebel, because fuck it. Yeah. Move on. Let's see. Divine feminine, divine masculine. You are fucking talented and amazing. The world needs your power. Y'all are so powerful together. Don't use it for dumb shit. Use your voice for good, okay? Because you and this seven, y'all together are just amazing. You do you. Stop trying to change people because that shit never works. Stop obsessing. You're not the center of the universe. Wow. Money, though. Make it rain. All right, some new money's going to be coming in, possibly. All right, let's get a couple toxic cards. What are the toxic things that are happening between the karmic and the masculine? Tell me about the toxic energy between the karmic and the masculine. Abused. So somebody definitely was stubborn. Stuck in their ways. Could be a smoker. All right, and somebody has been giving somebody a lot of bad advice. When it comes, it could be this karmic that's been giving give uh, giving this masculine bad advice. Get, let's get the toxic energy between the feminine and the masculine. Tell me about this toxic energy. Stable man and fog. You just couldn't see through something, you know. Smoke and mirrors. Some, there was a lot of fogginess. Maybe like a lot of drinking. Some kind of substance. Okay. Somebody is being set up. Be careful. Inconspicuous. Yeah, somebody is not wanting to, um, don't, don't attract any attention to you right now, okay? Because somebody could definitely be trying to set you up. Interesting. Getting robbed. I don't know what's going on here. Interesting. Let's get one out oh, energy oracle card. For the masculine and the feminine. What do we get for the masculine and the feminine? The thinking man. What about the karmic and the masculine? Yeah, there's a contract, okay? Walk away. This is a contract. Walk away, okay? Walk away. Magician in the mirror, too. 
just see this situation for what it is and walk away. What is this thinking man here for, for the uh, feminine, masculine, divine energies? Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, which equals to 11, okay? Somebody was definitely having to figure out their worthiness, their value for themselves, how they treat people, how they treat themselves, how they see themselves, okay? Uh, set boundaries, like, um, you know, love yourself, realize that you deserve more, value yourself more, don't settle for this energy that just didn't work out, and you think that you're just, it's gonna, you know what I'm saying, it's over with. I didn't ask, hold on. All right, give me one for the masculine and the feminine divine energy. Give me one for the divine feminine. All right, Nebula Warrior. Now get me one for the karmic and the masculine. Dark Harley Quinn. Dark Harley Quinn, 27. Bells are ringing from deep within inside. Something that once had to hide is seeking your attention. It wants to be free. As you release what was once shut away, your discomfort cell. Yeah, you are not. You want free, okay? It's time for you to come out. There's going to be a lot of surprises, okay? Like, you, like you're seeing in the dark. You're not sure who you are anymore. You're not sure what made sense in your life. You just seem fragile, okay? Don't be afraid, though, okay? Because uh, you are going to be healing. You know, ask the difficult questions. Do things how you normally wouldn't do, okay? Because somebody is going to definitely be healing um, from whatever this is, all right? Secrets. Somebody is not, yeah, somebody's being dishonest or deceptive. Somebody is being dishonest or deceptive. That's what it says. Secrets of Shinobi. Dishonesty, deceptive. Somebody is playing somebody in the situation. I don't know if the masculine is playing the karmic or the karmic is playing the masculine. Okay, there are advocates for love on this earth and that is you, Okay. They're passionate defenders for freedom, for their divine destiny. These warriors are, oh my God, these warriors for the soul know that they can either use the darkness to serve the growth of the light or allow it to consume their sense of hope and faith and go towards their destiny. Work with this darkness. Work with this darkness, you know? Some things in life are worth fighting for. But how do you fight with love? How do you fight without becoming bitter and hateful and tired and disconnected from the whole reason that you needed to fight in the first place? To be a warrior for love in the soul, you have to be smart. You have to know how to fight without fighting. How to use the natural darkness on this planet as a way to birth a new consciousness that is unafraid. Nebula Warrior isn't afraid of the dark. She isn't interested in the rules of war established by fear-loving minds. She creates her own rules, okay? Not based on what people want her to believe, but based on what works to keep her free and liberate the minds of hearts of all beings. She comes to you now because whatever situation needs healing in your life or in the world, you have the power to bring it about. If you go for the goal directly, trying to force a change, you'll be putting your considerable energy into pursuit and unintentionally set up resistance and repulsion. The stronger your energy, the more powerful this resistance will become. This is not the way best way to use your power. You want your power to work for you, not against you, okay? Yeah, my gosh. You're going to disempower these negative influences, okay? These naysayers, yeah. While, while drawing to your helpers an opportunity to attain your goals from a relaxed, positive, loving state of mind, you get the result without losing your cool. Practice bringing yourself to a place that is calm and compassionate within. Do what you can each day. If you cannot do something you want to do, ask for help from the universe and then let it go. When you need rest, take it. These apparently small choices create a powerful field of magnetism to attract and increase 
love, light on this planet, empowering the human heart with the understanding that the truth is always very simple. Heart with the understanding that the truth is always very simple. The forces in the world that profit from fear instead of love will try to confuse and overwhelm you into paralysis and inaction and into worrying rather than acting. Don't fall prey to that nonsense. You are a warrior of love and you will win any and every war through cool compassion and smart, simple strategy. Wow. Tell me about this masculine and feminine's journey to love. Let's get one card for the masculine and feminine and their journey to love. This is definitely, look, they could have definitely been wondering if they were karmic partners or twin flames. I am really seeing some twin flames, undying love for this feminine. This feminine will not give up on his, or her masculine. She is very devoted to this masculine who is very uh, close to giving up. And she has had some kind of huge epiphany, some kind of aha moment. Where is the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine at, Spirit, on their journey to love? Where is the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine at? Devotion to the small eruption of light. Like I said, there was, there was this eruption. We have the number 11 too. She is the moon, all right? There was, a, there was a huge transformation, a huge eruption of light. We have 9-11. That is the divine masculine's call for help. She is going to help. She felt, she heard her masculine call for help and she turned around. She was walking away and turned around, heard his call for help, his 911 call. And she said, I, I'm going to protect my masculine. Okay. You are being reborn from the pulsating womb of the divine mother. Okay. Wow, you're opening up to that divine light. Life is thriving, okay? You are definitely going to be having a huge transformation. If your life feels like it has been falling apart, then take heart for it. It is falling apart to come back together in a new way. You are not, you are going through the rebirth, just like a butterfly in a chrysalis. The butterfly thought it was dead. You thought this relationship was dead. And it is about to turn into a butterfly. This caterpillar is transforming. It's not dying, honey. It's transforming. Okay? Your every prayer is like a power-packed eruption of light beam in divine presence. Okay? So when you said your prayer, the divine heard it. They are answering your prayers. Through your voice, you can heal. Let your hands be joined in prayer position. Pray. Okay? Your words have more power than you realize. When you speak something aloud, Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine, it comes true. You are very powerful. You prayed about something. You asked the universe for something. You see that within the smallest flower, there is so much. You're very devoted to the small thing. There is an innate wisdom within you that understands this devotion to your spiritual destiny. You're very devoted to this. You are planting the seeds. Okay, you planted these seeds. You are going to be nurturing these seeds. I love that. All right, you guys, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one.